Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Sierra and you should check out the previous videos below to kind of get to know more about me. Uh, so a little update with the channel is I've decided to post every Monday and Friday. It's going to be a little bit of a, a hassle when school starts, but we're going to try and keep it up, keep motivated. Um, and yeah. So with Mondays, it's going to be more of the advice, uh, story time, sit down and chat kind of videos, kind of like my previous high school advice video, which shameless plug, you should go check out. Um, but I wanted to make, good boy, I wanted to make a video or a day with videos, a specific day, Monday videos like a certain time just to chill out, grab some coffee. Uh, we're gonna call it Meetup Mondays uh, because it's gonna be kinda like a meetup. We're gonna meet up, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna chill out, uh, grab coffee, grab tea, grab, you know what, it's Monday, grab some wine, alcohol, no judgments here, just no driving. Um, and yeah, just sit down and chat like we're having a meetup and we're talking. You know, righty then. So with that being said, today's Meetup Monday is going to be middle school advice. Next week's Monday is going to be uh, college slash university advice. And then after that, probably some story times and uh, stuff like that. So yeah, so for today's video is going to be middle school advice. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, hit the subscribe button below. Turn on your post notifications so you know when I upload a video, although uh, I gave you kind of times Monday or Friday. Uh, and follow me on social media at ccchristine uh, on Instagram and ccchristine1 on TikTok uh, if you want to see some of those fun things and keep updated with me. But without further ado, let's hop into some middle school advice. So with me, I have some iced coffee. I know I'm scared I'm gonna spill it, y'all. Uh, the ice is kind of melted now. Um, so if you wanna join me, get yourself, pause the video, go grab yourself some coffee, some tea, some wine. And let's get into this. So for middle schoolers, first off, I know not every country has designated middle school age. I'm basing this off of what we have in the States. Um, middle school age is from 11 to 14 or grade 6 to 8. And it's just a weird transition time where you're not like the babies in elementary school, uh, but you're not the big kids, almost adults, like even teen, like you're just at the beginning stage of teenager. So you're in this like weird transition stage and that is completely okay. Um, but what I want to say, like what I want to stress as point one, is you're going to be trying to find who you are, what makes you you, what makes, for example, me, Sierra, and you're going to start laying those foundations of who you are, what you like, what is your style, and you're going to start trying to figure that out, and that is completely okay. With that, though, I will say everyone in middle school is in the same exact place you are whether they like to admit it or not they are trying to find themselves they are going to experiment you're going to experiment and just try out new things see what you're into see what you're not into and my only warning is just don't be mean that sounds so weird a lot of bullying happens start happens and starts in middle school and continues on into high school and it's just because we're all insecure at that age. We're all, but we all express insecurity in a different way. And you don't need to be mean. That's not one thing you need to experience about being mean. There's a difference between standing up for yourself and being mean. And in middle school, you try to find that balance and that is okay. But when you are trying to find yourself, do not be mean to other people. Number two, that's kind of based off discovery is you might discover that some parts of you are just not okay. And I'm not talking about physically, <laughs> we're not going there. But you might figure out that you're sad quite often or you freak out and have panic attacks. And 
you, it might start middle school, it might start later, it might start earlier, you never know. And as you're discovering that, you might like you might discover it as you're discovering yourself. And that is okay. It's okay to not be okay. You know, it's okay to go and find help. Like I cannot stress that enough to you. Go find some help uh, just so you can figure out what is causing this. So you have some understanding of what is going on with you and how you can help yourself. I struggle with depression in middle school and I had figured it out beforehand, but it kind of, if I didn't find help in middle school like I did, I, who knows how long I'd be struggling with it. And it's because of the help that I'm not struggling with it. I mean, I struggle with anxiety. I found that out later. It's okay to not be okay. Everyone has their demons. Everyone has something they struggle with, but that makes them them. That makes you, you. My anxiety, like, doesn't define me, but it's a part of me and it's something I have to live with and I have to fight and I have to uh, leave room for grace in and it's okay everyone has their own demons their own issues and it's okay to not be okay and it's okay to find help and trust people i promise you third thing i will say is it will get better middle school is full of chaos i feel like you're trying to keep up with your studies you're trying to figure out who you are and what you like all in the midst of drama. If it hasn't already started, it will start. And especially with girls, that's when the boy crazy, I feel like, starts coming out. Uh, because you're in a whole new environment. Like, you're in a whole new age now and dating's just around the corner, so you're kind of trying to figure that out before you actually get into it. And it causes a lot of drama because other girls are going after the same guy or uh we'll start gossiping and i promise it will get better there might be drama throughout your life but you will have the mentality of how to deal with it uh you will have the maturity of how to deal with it but in this stage i promise it will get better in the next couple of years you just have to make it through trudge through and yeah, you're gonna make it, I promise. My last tip for middle schoolers is get to know your teachers. I mean, it could go to high schoolers and university students, but I wanna stress getting in that habit of getting to know your teachers, getting in like on their good side earlier on because it makes your life so much easier. <laughs> it sounds terrible. I was always a teacher's pet and the teachers would be more willing to help you they are more willing to, you know, give you some treats. <laughs> it goes a long way. It will take you far to get in the habit to get to know your teachers and be nice to your teachers. Especially because if you are staying in the same school district, uh, those teachers have connections and can rep you uh, to high school teachers. And when you get into high school, you really need teacher's help. Even in university, I feel like I still need teacher's help. Uh, but get to know your teachers, be nice to them, uh, and yeah, it'll take you a long way, I promise. So that is the little advice that I can offer you middle schoolers. It is a crazy whirlwind of a time, and it does shape you. I promise there is a point to it. There is a point to the troubles that are going to come, uh, but I hope this kind of offers you some insight. It offers you some help of what is to come and it will get better. I promise you high school, college, even though the workload is a bit harder, the drama and people kind of mature for the most part. There are some exceptions, um, but I hope you found this helpful. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy sitting down with me drink coffee, tea, whatever your drink of preference is. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.